everybody, and welcome to potentially the final episode of SCP The Serpent's Plan Part 12. Today is September 29th, 2022, and you are loved. That is a very important thing to, rem uh, to remember, and we say it at the beginning of each and every single one of these games. If this is your first time joining us, you can go to youtube.com slash indoor adventures to check up on all of the VODs of each of the games that we have played up until this point, or you can go towards where anywhere audio casts are being made available for free. You can find us there under the same moniker. And speaking of things that are being made available for free, if you go to patreon.com slash indoor adventures, you can check up on our after show called Nights in the Courtyard, where we answer questions not only from each other, but also from the community. So so if you have any questions for myself or any of these other fine folk, feel free to join us again at patreon.com slash indoor adventures and we will do our best to respond to those questions in kind. However, where would you ask us those questions? You can ask us in the Twitch chat. That's a great place to do it. However, Twitch chat can move pretty fast sometimes. We might miss it. Easiest way to do it. Join us on Discord. The link can be found in the Twitch chat to the side or in the description of this video or audio cast down below. Click the link in the doobly-doo and we will see you there. But let's say that you already support us on Twitch. You already support us on Patreon and YouTube and all of those other wonderful places and you're trying to think to yourself, where can I go to help support this fantastic show even more? Guess what, Acorns? We got your back. Quite literally, in fact, because if you go to indooradventure.redbubble.com, we got t-shirts, we got posters, we got mugs, we got crop tops, throw pillows, shower curtains, aprons, clocks, posters, journals, mugs. We even have face masks with the symbol of Tiamat upon them designed by our very own Cyberwolf1201 where all of the proceeds of our merch is currently going to help support Doctors Without Borders. So if you would like to help support a good cause, you can again go to indooradventure.redbubble.com. That is indooradventure, no s at the end, dot redbubble.com. But that is it for my opening spiel. So hey PB, who are you playing today? Hi, I'm playing Maggie, a grease monkey mechanic who uses she, her pronouns and uh, currently uh, is excited for the end. I am the indoor adventurer, he, him, and today I shall be playing as Bucky Howard. We both go by he, him. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, sidekick chauffeur and uh, death wish advocate for this leg. Raven to Greybeard's Tavern, and tonight I'll be playing Clifton Kai, the Yogi Mystic. And, uh, yeah, the end. Oof. That's it for me, GB. Hey, everybody, I'm Wings. She, her, I'm going to be playing as Val today, who is an Explorer Tribe member, and they go by she, they pronouns. And I am Media Flare, they, them. I will be acting as your keeper, game master, storyteller, what have you, for this game. And I'm terrified. Um, so let's do a recap. <clears throat> About six and a half months ago, while uh, on Site 11, the Fo SCP Foundation was running tests on SCP 3008, an IKEA that leads to multiple dimensions and get people lost in it, as well as housing both humans and non-human entities. Uh, a few individuals came running out and they were captured for study. After a while, they were... Spoiler. Um, and when they got on their first mission, they tracked down a cat, met God, lost the cat, and realized that they were being tracked and got into combat, ran away, eventually arriving to a lake. A lake that claimed the life of a party member, Revna, and permanently wrap, uh, warped Bucky's mind, making them desire to return to the lake at all costs. Six months passed, and the party reunited with, well, Bucky reunited with someone known as Claire, and they grabbed another party member, Val, who seems to have some sort of relations with Revna and something to do with the universe they come from. The party decided to jump on to Claire's exit strategy 
and eventually found out that a doorway leading to something called the Wanderer's Library is located at the bottom of a lake, the same lake that claimed Revenant's life and tore apart Bucky's mind. The group found a pontoon boat, a flat float, uh, floating surface essentially, and pushed it out into the lake until Clifton and Val could use their magics to locate the specific spot to stop and dive down and hook to this door. As they did so, the sun began to set and the sound, a very familiar sound of dozens of voices telling the group that they are cl that the store is closed and they need to leave. That is where we are currently. Fortunately, I got everyone's initiatives ahead of time, so I'm just gonna rapidly accelerate the music. Cool. And uh, so starting with Bucky, actually, before we even start with Bucky, can everyone give me a listen check? I'd ask for a uh, spot hidden, but everyone is blindfolded, I believe. Bucky listens real fucking good right now. How good? Uh, that is, I'm gonna use a singular luck point to turn this into an extreme success. Excellent. I don't think Clifton has made a listen check this game, so. I don't think so either. He doesn't believe in Q-tips. Or rather, he actually reads the instructions that says you're not supposed to put them all the way in your ear. But what do doctors know? I just want you to know I got the funny number, um, and I thought I really failed that, but I actually only failed by two, so I'm just going to use two points to, to lower that to a success. Okay. Uh, I have got a success. In fact, I've gotten a, a half success. A half success from Val. So, Maggie and Val hear the sounds of bodies or objects, large objects, splashing into the lake from various directions, as well as the sound of rubber squealing at distances, some metallic crashing sounds, and large swaths of avian wings fluttering in various directions. Bucky hears an additional thing. An explosion that would fill the heart with dread. Uh -uh. Would Bucky like to try and figure out what they heard? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna use... Hmm, what will we use to identify this? It's definitely not the natural world. Is this like a uh, psychoanalysis role? Definitely or? would not be that. I uh, guess, like, there's a couple I can think of, like electronics, mech, uh... Why, history, no! History um, uh, would work. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, an electronics. I have really good mech repair. Okay, so go with mech. This is a great day for me. This is a half success. <laughs> great day for Bucky. <laughs> Bucky, you've like looked at, you know, videos uh, uh, on on them tubes uh, and like have watched the occasional documentary on the History Network. Um, that was the sound of a huge nuclear explosion. <laughs> coming from somewhere <laughs> very very far away okay. but within earshot so anyway bucky it is your turn what are you doing uh i believe i have somebody sitting on top of me i am currently burrito swaddled mm -hmm. swathed um so there's not much that I can do other than try and be a slippery little guy and wiggle my way vi uh, voraciously uh, with, with, <laughs> with a quickness to try and wiggle out from underneath and maybe use 
the gravity of somebody's butt falling to kind of like boop, uh, pop me <laughs> off the side. Like I want to roll fully swathed into the water to see if I can sink. Okay. Um, make a dex check versus, I know Maggie was sitting on you. Who was the second person sitting? Was it Claire? It might've been Claire. Cause yeah, Revna or, or, or Val and Clifton were both dealing with the lake itself. So Claire and Maggie will make uh, brawl checks, and they both have to pass. I'm just or I'm rather wriggling. you have to get an you have to get a pass past both of them. And okay, but I don't have to roll with like a disadvantage die or anything like that. It's just you, oh yeah, you definitely have to roll with a penalty die. Okay, I just wanted to make sure <laughs> you're a little caterpillar. All right, so what is Claire? I just love playing night crawlers. What is default? I passed. Crawl? You passed. Okay. <laughs> uh. Man, you're lucky I rolled with the disadvantage die. Uh, oh, Claire failed, at least. I am. I'm gonna push it because if I hadn't have rolled with disadvantage, it would have been a 16. But instead, I rolled a 96, and honestly, I'd rather push and, and hope for the best. <laughs> uh, so that is, and this is a dodge. Still a failure. Uh, yeah. Still a failure, but not a not a critical failure. E4 push, but now it's still bad because I, I pushed right. and failed, yeah. You feel like awful jabbing sensations as when you try and squirm your way out, uh, Maggie and Claire's like elbows and hips like drill into you in just the right spots to Don't make you understand. regret it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like physically damaged hit point wise, but it's definitely uh, like locks you in a worse position than you started. Uh, I'm gonna say uh <laughs> God, where's where's the fucking picture of it? Um, <laughs> does the class, because the class of, of of 76, they don't have, do they have names? Uh, they if have you, names? did you say, happen uh, yes, to yes, save yes. the yearbook? Uh, I did. Uh, he is going to say, um, uh, da, da, da. Uh, Gordon's in there. Uh, Gordon's in there. The bomb just went off. We got to make sure that they that they get to safety. It's true. Are you are you just saying that in your brain? No, I'm I'm yelling it. I'm like I'm like writhing around in my little burrito tube. I'm fucking <laughs> shouting that we need to save Gordon. Um, and then he's he's just yelling the bomb, the bomb, the bomb. Gordon's down there. They're all down there. Gordon, Augustus, uh, uh, Clarice, they're all down there. <laughs> it's like over, uh, Bucky's just screaming. Um, uh, Maddie's gonna say, well, uh, no matter what, we gotta go. We all hear that splash and we gotta go. It's Do we like... have the thing? <laughs> Do we have the thing? Is that what you said? Uh, Claire did. Uh, Clifton, did you get a tug at the end of the last session? I cannot remember where we were at with door raising. Right. I really, literally cannot remember. <laughs> I know at least the door was found. So we will say that mm -hmm. the door is found and hooked up to by Val. Val is on their way up and Clifton probably got like the dinger that it was secure. That sounds right no. to me. Yeah, I believe so. We got confirmal because I came into this uh, with full, a full go ahead, time to jump, dive down and go, and mm -hmm. mentality. Um. So, is there anything else for Bucky? Okay. So, time to roll a bunch of dice. So we're serving. You all hear two entities splash into the water. Um, they seem to be flailing about, uh, this is definitely, like, the first time they've had to use their bodies in swimming motions, so they are figuring it out on the fly with a very low intelligence score. So, um, it is going to go to Val next. All right. Val's, uh, is the plan, my very good friends, uh, <laughs> Is the plan to take the door to us or us to the door? 
us to the door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with our timeline, it was just as fast as we can get inside that door. Got it. I figured that would be the case. Uh, I, I think that... I think the... I think that was a no. I think we were going to raise the door because of the whole open it lake into into library. I uh, think you have that perfect memory. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty darn sure it was raise the door <laughs> Damn, so close. and not and not flood the <laughs> library um, with corpses. <laughs> All right. Well, if if that is the plan, uh, then Val would be um, trying to dislodge the door from the. Uh, lake bottom um okay. and see if this is like a monsters inc door situation where like the door uh, th we can move the door to different places or if it's like if it's going into the bottom of the lake and we can't move it okay so make me um like as you're swimming there easily enough you can feel around and tell that it is laying horizontally like on the side uh, and mm -hmm. it still has a door frame secure to it, but it is not secure to the ground at all. Mm -hmm. um, it feels to be made out of a type of wood, which, if you'd like to make me a natural world check, uh, there's not a lot of non-buoyant woods. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll spend some luck points to push that over. I spend three luck points to make this a success. Okay. With a success, let me find a more colloquial term for it. You know it's made out of a type of wood. Uh, you could call lignum. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is not a ligma setup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a, is a very, very fucking heavy, dense wood that is used for durable uh, furnitures. Um, so it's, it's dense enough to sink below water, uh, and requires some amount of strength to pull up, um, but it's not impossible. Uh, we wouldn't you would definitely need to be at the surface this. putting your arms on the rope, too, or something. Okay, um, she's going to make sure there's nothing on top of it, uh, for the time being, and then once she's certain that it can be lifted, uh, or has it the best chance of being lifted, uh, they'll make their way back to the surface. Okay. Uh, give me a swim check penalty dice because you are blind. Okay. Well, okay. What? Mm, I will spend the luck it takes to make this a success. <laughs> I'm spending six luck to make this a success. All right, today is your lucky day as you swim yourself to the surface. Again, this lake doesn't seem to be super deep. It takes you about 10 seconds to surface. You don't have to worry about uh, getting the bends or anything. Um, and as you break the surface, you hear Bucky yelling about the lake and bombs now. Um, and you can also hear like the splashing of things entering the water. All right slap up onto the boat and start pulling. <laughs> okay, um, alright, so we will say that that is Val. Where's my little initiative tracker? Clifton, you are up. You, uh, already have the rope secured. <sighs> pull, pull, pull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, both of you make strength checks. Alright. Uh, either one of you needs to get an extreme success, or both of you need to succeed. Woohoo! Under half. All right, all right. With with the option, easy option to spend the points to to luck it if you don't make it, Val. All right. What was Val's roll? Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to roll something. <laughs> what was I rolling? Strength. Uh, a strength. <laughs> if you God. both succeed, you'll make progress. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Um, can I push it? I'm going to push it. You can push it. I'm going to push it. 
That one was in the 90s. Oh, much better. That's a six on the die, my friends. Oh, absolutely Ooh. awesome. So that's, um, is that an extreme for you? Uh, what, what kind of check was this again? Strength. 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 I have a, oh. Top uh, left most was, thing. Right, I was trying to find it in the skill. Uh, Where's my strong skill? <laughs> yeah. <section>. yeah. <laughs> No, this is this is much better. Yeah, uh, that's an extreme success. Exactly. It's an extreme and a half. Both of you are in sync. It's like a like professional tug of war for a bit <laughs> as you start to make progress. The surface area of the door, uh, luckily, is shrunken as you start to pull, and it becomes vertical. So there's a little bit of pressure, but not a whole lot, and you start to get this pulled up um, based on the amount of times you have pulled and reset, you say you probably have gotten the door about a quarter of the way out. Cool. And it is Maggie's turn. You're sitting on Bucky, screaming. The door, I see Val and Clifton uh, yanking this thing up. Um, oh, I was I was gonna say, how large is the door? Can I see it? No, I cannot. In fact, <laughs> you can't see, it. see anything. <laughs> um, you could. <laughs> would, no would smile. Would you like to? <laughs> it's kind of fun um, having a saboteur in the party. <laughs> um, can I listen for? How fast did you say Val and Clifton were raising this door? Pretty quickly. They're about a quarter of the way done. Okay. Trying to weigh my options here. Um, I am going to take stock of all the items I have um, between the knife and... Um, <laughs> the hard drive and a couple of tools I did take from the uh, from the garage the mm -hmm. garage and I'm just gonna take because uh, I can't really like move too much otherwise A I would hurt Bucky under me um, from leveraging trying to get the door up um, and I'm not going to stand up because uh, Bucky has not stopped fucking like a Bronco since we got up here. So I think there's no sort of like like inspiration or like anything like that I could give my my buddies. We'd be like, yeah, you guys are doing such a great job to help them out with anything. Okay. Or like um, a motivational speech. <laughs> I would say give me a charm check. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> That's a half success. <laughs> I, All right. I can't believe I rolled a zero here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll say that you, you're, you're at least motivating the group a little bit. They will have uh, bonus dice for any actions they want to make next turn. Well, Val and Clifton will, unless Clif but you're also trying to inspire Bucky. <laughs> no, oh uh, no! In fact, like in in the middle, like I'm just like you guys are doing such a great job. We're gonna get that up here in no time, and we're gonna throw Bucky in the first straight through that door so I can <laughs> get off of him as fast as possible. Uh, but until then, he's gonna stay right here. I'm like, shut up about the bombs! I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> They're exploding! <laughs> <laughs> what fucking bomb? Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so Maggie is inspiring the troops. Uh, Y'all are heathen and a hoen, and it is now going to cycle back round to Bucky. So, <laughs> different verse, same as the first. We're gonna try and fucking struggle our way out, and all right, get on in there. Clifton or uh, Claire. Uh, did it fail? I am... This is for my dodge. You know what? I'm gonna say... What? I'm gonna say <laughs> fuck it. I am going to use... Uh, da, da, da. So I rolled a 41. So I would need to spend... Uh, 
28 points to make it an extreme success. Oh my god. <laughs> I also got an extreme success. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> All right. Of course, I didn't wait until you said how much you were going to spend on that. Of course, I didn't. Not for the drama. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I got two um, ones on the die. I was like, oh, that's very good. <laughs> I will it. say that Claire is slid off of you and her butt hits the ground. Uh, and Maggie doubles down and keeps you pinned for now. But there is only one person sitting on you right now. <laughs> so you He's going to pause. Success. <laughs> He's going to pause. And in a moment of clarity, he's going to look at her and be like, Maggie, there's no hope for me. You know that. I'll always be drawn back here. We've been gone almost a year. This is my home now. Me and the class, you need to let me go. I'm just going to narratively headbutt you. <laughs> <laughs> I headbutt at thee. <laughs> oh my god, you said Maggie. I heard Becky, and I was all like, who the fuck is Becky? <laughs> I think it's almost funnier if he does say, like, no, 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 no. He's very he's, disoriented. He's gonna say, you say the name of the person. <laughs> yeah, using the name of one of the fucking lake people. <laughs> all right, so speaking of lake people, it is the uh, enemy's turn. So I'm going to start by rolling this die, and y'all hear an additional. Actually, I should do it backwards, but for now, I'm just gonna... All right, so y'all hear an additional splash as a third body fully submerges into the water. God, I wish that were me. And... <laughs> uh, all right, so that's that. And... That was monster, so Val. That's me. That's you. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hoist this here... This here... Door. Thing, door. thing a doer. That's the name door. of it. <laughs> so Val and like, Clifton are like next to each other in initiative, you so you want, both right? can knock out your uh, check at the same time. Let's right. make it happen. And we have the bonus die because of uh, Maggie's inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Maggie is done with this universe oh. and is not fucking around. <laughs> we are not the greatest people to be doing this, as it turns oh. out. Okay, so. Oh, fucking fuck Christ. Do I need to extreme success? Because what'd you get? Because I'm, I'm like... I, I have a question. If you critically fail, can you push the roll? Uh, With you... the bonus die? You... both times? Wow. Mm. It's, an, it's um, a 99 Let me double check who supersedes die. who when it comes uh, to that. Because just... both of them get bad consequences, but let's see. I'll just go ahead and make that an extreme success. <laughs> I'll just make points. it a regular failure? Yeah. I'm guessing that I I can't push this roll. That is probably likely. Da -da 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 -da. Pushing. Okay, so if you crit, uh, you cannot proceed to push. Oh my god. So a crit fail, and then you're pushing for an extreme success. Is that what's happening? I spent I spent like five points to get an extreme success. Okay. So Val slips a little and lets go of the rope. But as that happens, Clifton like wraps their arm around the rope and cements themselves. No gate no ground was gained or no water was gained or whatever. Uh but at least we it does also not sink. Didn't lose the door. <laughs> a lot of a lot of ties going on right now. <laughs> All right. Woo! Maggie, you're the only one on Bucky right now. More bodies are entering the water. You heard someone slip for a second, but it seems to be under control. Oh man. Man, what a what a what decisions have to be made, huh? Mm -hmm. In this in this game of ours. Hold on, I need to look at something. I need to look at something. Yeah, and I haven't lost enough that to have lost 
my morals. I am... I guess for the listeners who cannot see the just like the indecision uh, in my face, uh, what I am grappling with is whether or not I'm going to let Bucky go for the better of the team and help haul this thing up, or if I'm going to let trust the rest of the team who I know are skinny minis uh, do <laughs> the heavy lifting while I... Uh, actually put effort into grappling Bucky. That is the indecision you are you you would be watching on my face uh if you were watching Trazies. this. <laughs> SCP the trolley problem. It's true. One has a better track record of choking out Bucky. It's true. <laughs> true. But you'd have to get here. Trazies. Don't go until after Bucky, unfortunately. Uh... I get Tracy's next turn. Like if you jump on him, I'll uh um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to shift my position on Bucky, not giving him any ground, but in an effort to, um, you know, have you guys ever watched a crocodile hunter with Steve Irvin mm -hmm. or Irwin? You know how <laughs> you know, he jumps on Crocs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, that's like the energy I'm going to put into the <laughs> sort of grapple I'm going to try and put, uh, onto... Hey, I'll on, sit down! <laughs> <laughs> onto Bucky, uh, to, like, assure that I have a very good hold of not only, like, the ties on, on Bucky, um, like, actually physically holding, like, not only, like, Bucky's, like, shoulder, but also, like, probably the, uh... Uh, the rope he has um, along his whatever this part of your body is called. Um, the bicep? Yeah, your biceps, yep. Because, like, I did not take any chances with uh, with Bucky this time around. Um, so he is well and beautifully tied up. Uh, so I'm just holding on uh, very well as if I'm at Steve Irwin style on Bucky. That is what I'm doing on this turn. And if I feel someone, like, come in get on Bucky and talk to me about switching uh, places, <laughs> I will. But I am going to stay on Bucky. Okay, I'll say that during uh, the next struggle, you'll have a bonus die to work with. Uh, speaking of, it is now top of the morning. Um, and it is Bucky's turn. We need to get under the desks! That's the only way we'll be safe! Uh... <laughs> And he'll, um, he'll try it. He's gonna keep trying to wiggle. All right, same struggle. Bucky does not, Bucky only need a hard success. Do I still uh, have a disadvantage die? Because I only got one person. Uh, you do not. Uh, you'll have to get a hard success or better. Okay. What we got with Maggie? And you get a bonus dice. What? <laughs> I'm gonna use 13 luck points to get that hard Not success. Extreme success. Fucker! Damn extreme it! Success. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 13 this... that time. <laughs> Just With a squealing and wiggling like like a like a like a scared little piggy. Uh, Bucky's doing their best. It's not working out. <laughs> we need to get under the desks, Maggie. It's the only way we'll be safe. I think that's the wrong decade you're arguing about, but whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Did you have nuclear wars in this country? <laughs> in the 70s? Alright, so I need to roll three of these. So, bum, bum, bum. And... Two... The sound of splashing it continues as more bodies seem to be entering the lake it does sound like a decent amount of them are in here and you hear the splashing of 
the 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 sound that happens when something returns to the surface, the reverse splore, as two things seem to surface that are not on a rope. And uh, it is Val's turn. Duck, duck. Um, <laughs> Val is going to scramble over to where Maggie and Bucky are um, and put Bucky in a wrestling hold uh, that involves mostly legs. Okay. <laughs> and like very like out of breath but very calmly to Maggie say take the rope <laughs> all right um that is a success on my brawl all right so you Bucky. easily mount into place ready to resist Bucky's resisting um and signal to Maggie that they are clear. Clifton, it is your turn. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Maggie is right after Clifton, so you can both act, act simultaneously if you want to. Oh no, no this is not when you want a 69. Um, nice. Uh... Nice. But I do have a 65 strength, so that's only four points. I'll spend the four points. Oh, mm. and just out of luck, I'm currently at 69 points in my luck, too. Nice. Um, Are we nice. able to use luck on uh, the characteristics checks, or was it only yeah. for skills? Skills and characteristics. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What is the strength, right? Uh, yep. Spend the four points. There's plenty of sounds of grunting and struggling to let you know which corner of the boat to crawl to. Oh, my strength's a lot lower than I thought it was. Uh, but that is still a... I still rolled a 10. That was a ha uh, an extreme success. Fantastic. So Maggie runs Ooh. up and the pace quickly changes uh, as I will say it is up uh, about halfway now. Uh, things are looking good for the team. I would like to say this is my favorite dive right now. You can't see it. This is I was my like, favorite you one. just got censored. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a rolled low for me every time below five. Usually I'd hate that, but I love that today. <laughs> Don't bring it to D and D. Um, <laughs> all right, so it's Bucky's turn. I'm getting choked, uh, but. If you're choking me out and you're using your leggies in order to do so, uh, I'm gonna try and like swizzle my lower half until it's like towards the edge of the boat. Or uh, I wanna use, uh, <laughs> I wanna use your leg to rub my head against to try and like get the band, like get the blindfold off so I can see. Okay, I'll say one or the other you can make an attempt for. Both of them very interesting. Uh, leggy blindfold. Leggy blindfold. Okay, so um, Bucky make a dex to escape. Val make a uh, you've already brawled into position, so now you just make a strength to uh, uh, hold. Dodge or dex? I'm, if, if he's trying to take his blindfold off, I'm not concerned with that. I'm mostly concerned with keeping him on the boat. Okay. If he wants that blindfold off, that's okay. All right. <laughs> just Bucky. feel my fucking head just like... Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you get on your roll, Buck? Uh, what was I rolling for? Dex or dodge? Uh, dex. Okay. Dex. <laughs> 69. Nice nice, 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 nice. That's a success. That is a success. Okay, so you managed to get the blindfold pushed off of your head and you can now see all of the things that are going on there are the flashes of reds and blues in the cloud in the clouds above from what you can see again there is a blizzard going on so it is very hard to see um the faint sounds of many things splashing around there are many things swimming in the lake right now 
that you don't recognize, but they seem to have the same goal as you, at least. To get to the door or to get in the lake? To get in the lake. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, kindred spirit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Bucky's just going to, like, try and be looking around. It's not like he can, like, stop himself from getting choked out like he did last time. Like, he's just actively getting... He's just actively getting axe choked by these leggies. <laughs> All right. So as you as you look around and actually get a visual on the situation in this freezing blizzard, you have a bunch of waterlogged friends, uh, either wrestling you or pulling on a rope. Um, Claire is rummaging in like a little cargo pocket on the side of her leg, um, and yes, you hear the cacophony of uh, people telling you the store is closed. That's pretty much all you can see right now, yeah? Okay. Totally right, fine. But your eyes are free. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Okay, so that is now the monster's turn. So we're going to start with the... Uh, okay. One. The rolls get more each time. Two. Three. Four. And five. Wow. Interesting. Um, all right, and then I roll this. Okay. And then it is Val's turn. Bucky is able to see now. They are still in your grasp. Uh, Val's going to sit up, just like full weight on Bucky, uh, pull out the SMG, and then listen carefully for the closest target, and then just fire blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you say closest target, are you just talking about proximity in general, or would you like to? Be I'm more talking specific? about the ones that are yeah, saying like, that the store is closed, just... not the okay. ones that are <laughs> saying, "Oh, let's pull this door out of okay. the lake." Make a spot hidden check. Okay. <laughs> Success. Success. Okay. You can hear the sounds of two of these bodies speaking and swimming much closer to the boat than the rest who are still flailing about near the, uh, like, edges of the lake. You have at least a general idea of where they are. Daka daka. All right. Roll me with disadvantage. So bad. This is such a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Ugh. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All How much right, would I have okay. to do to make this better? Um, uh, I'm gonna say if you, you need push at least it, a you, hard success. If you push it, you can't make. Uh, you can't add luck to it, can you? That is correct. correct. Do I dare? Right. How much luck would I have to add to make this a success? Give okay, me a second. Uh, possible last session. Go for broke. It is. <laughs> it is. Well, it depends on what kind of broke I want to go for here. <laughs> Give me, give me a second to do some math. Um, don't have enough luck for that. Oh, the, ch the, the chances of this going poorly are too high for me to trust a, to trust the low skill that I have with a, with a bad dice, with a dice that is bad for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the L, you guys. I'm just gonna miss. All right. So you pull the trigger and fire a single shot into the water. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, you hear it splash somewhere. You done fired a bullet. Uh, Clifton, it is your turn. Oh. <laughs> Just heave on the door. Till uh, we hear it breach or clank to the side of the uh the pontoon boat right so then clifton and maggie go team go half success half success uh and we don't have the extra die at this point right correct uh bum, 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 bum. she got a half success I will spend the... Oh, that makes it easy. Uh, I will spend 20 luck points to get a normal success. Okay. 
you pull it up a little bit. It's not as rapid a progress, but I'd say you're at like three fifths of the way. And it's gonna cycle back around. The sounds of sirens are now loud enough that uh, everyone can hear them through the uh, blizzard wind. And it like is... wee woo, wee woo sirens. Yeah, not the okay. No one's calling for you to jump <laughs> into the lake uh, via melodic voices. Um, I just gotta make sure. <laughs> I, and uh, just for uh, meta game knowledge, is it? Is it like air raid nuclear sirens or police car sirens? Yes. Um, the All louder the one would be the air raid signal that <laughs> okay. is beginning to sound. Um, but right. there, there is faint fire and ambulance and police. Bucky. It is your turn. <laughs> Bucky uh, is just going to say, there it is. I told you all, it's the bomb. We need to get out. We need to go. Uh, and he also sees that Val has just like, brat, brat, like shot blindly. <laughs> and he's feeling, you know, ch like he's getting choked out. And he suddenly feels significantly less secure in this endeavor. Uh, so, uh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He's going to try and get out. He's going to try and get in that lake again because he knows... <laughs> that if he can get to the class of 76, they can all hide under their desks together and we'll be fine. So this is all contested, right? right? I'm, yep, I'm strength versus dex. Brawl. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to use the last four luck points that I have to get an ex... Or no, no, I don't even need to. I get an extreme success. Oh, do you now? Yeah. Mm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Just one second. Yes, please stand by. <laughs> please stand by. <laughs> Literally the air raid, like, Fallout 3, like, yep. new drops. Please stand by. <laughs> I'll spend the 15 luck that I need to in order to make this an extreme success. God! <laughs> <laughs> wow, there is a big fuck you going on right now. Uh, as all 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 amounts of luck are getting pushed into just keeping this one wormy boy at, uh, on this fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot. <laughs> okay, the uh, 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 chat is turning on you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I spend all a right. lot of time telling. Simon's characters that they're not allowed to die. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> All right. So let us do some dice rolling oh. on the monster end. Uh, I wish I could. Well, I could just find something that lets me roll more than 1d100. Oh God. Please. I would like to roll like. So type it in and see if that helps. All right. I would like to roll it that many of them set go okay so and then i roll a different die all right so it does sound like it's getting very popular in this pool y'all um uh i think it's adult swim right now uh there are much more bodies surfacing. It seems that they are collectively figuring this out. And there is a splash and a wet slap on the astroturf of a surface that y'all are on as it feels like the boat lists a little. Tilts, rather. And something or some things are trying to climb on the boat. What do I see? You see two of this. I'm sorry, but the store is closed. Please leave at your earliest convenience. Uh, two of them are climbing onto the boat. And it is... Uh, it is Val's turn. Uh, mechanical reminder, uh, just in case. Uh, you, ch you can choose to fire a single shot or automatic uh, for more bullets uh, at the expense of burning ammo. Yeah. <laughs> I got bones for this. I, this was on purpose. Uh, 
that this sounds like a spread shot situation uh but just just before like the boat started to list um mm-hmm. i think that like val just sort of like put the gun down for a second and then put like a hand on bucky and then just said tell me where they are And Bucky Would will you... say, let me go. Uh, uh... And then the boat lists and Val's going to turn the gun on those guys. <laughs> or at least in that direction. Yep. All right. Roll me another blind ah! fire. Uh, blindfolded and an awkward situation. Disadvantaged dice and hard success necessary. Hit. Come on! Oh, that's not a hard success. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, there's not much I can do, friends. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Yeah, I just burst fire in that direction. I'm taking the L again. SMG was not a good choice for me. Okay. Um, All right, so Val is firing into the darkness and trying their best, but it is not successful. Clifton and Maggie, the boat is starting to tilt there's still a boat what needs to get, uh, or not a boat, a door what needs to get pulled to the surface. And there are now hitchhikers. I mean, how much longer do we need to get this thing up? Uh, it seemed based on the last pull, you were at four fifths of the way there. Oh, no. Strength, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, let me know what you got there, Maggie. Uh, I'll spend the luck to get that to a half success. Okay. All right, then I will. Okay. So if I'm getting the mechanics right, if she makes a success and I fail, we don't advance. So I need a success also to yeah, advance. If you at least both success, I'll... it makes some progress. If uh, both of you success, and one of you makes an extreme success, you make extra progress. Alright, yeah. Uh, if one fails and someone makes a harder, better, it levels out. How, is there a limit on to how much like I can spend? Or uh, do I have... As many points as you want to burn. Or Just I'll, knowing that there I'll are dodges the... in your future one day. <laughs> I'll spend the points then to uh, get that to an extreme success then. I'm close enough. Oh, right. yeah, alright. And so... then, if she is extreme and I fail... Nothing. Then, uh, then if it's not a crit fail, then it's a normal advance. All right. Then I will not spend the extreme amount of luck to <laughs> to push and or such. So, the okay. door advance is normal. Slight oh. progress is made. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you're getting there. It's so close. Why am I wearing Birkenstocks? <laughs> <I'm sliding. laughs> All right, Bucky, it's your turn. Bucky just, uh, Bucky says, uh, I don't even think he's going to say anything. I think that he's just going to keep, going to keep trying to wiggle. Um, (laughs) roll that wiggle check. Yep. Wiggle check. That is a success. Okay. Extreme success. Get fucked. Um. <laughs> All right. And then he, he reiterates. Uh, he reiterates his uh, his devil's bargain, which is, uh, they just keep coming. There's going to be more of them. Let me go. I'll tell you exactly where they are. Tell me where they are, or we all die. All right. That is Bucky, so now it is roll a bunch of dice time. I'm up to this many now. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, wait, no, actually, minus two, because two of them are on the boat. So, go dupe. 
Do you do one, do you two, do three, do four, holy shit. Uh Okay. So, a lot of bodies are surfacing. It's almost like they are learning from each other's experiences as they get more and more efficient at, at flailing their bodies in a way to keep themselves above water. The two are climbing on to the boat. I'm gonna roll a d4 because they don't have priorities. Okay. And I'm gonna roll a d4 for the second one, just for the fuck of it. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so the first one is taking a swing, and I will describe things because Bucky can see them at Claire. And let's see here. I need a, just a, one of these. Okay. Uh, swipes and tears a bit of. Uh, I guess the, the, the clothes are more durable now they're completely soaked. Uh, grabs at their clothes for a second, but they wiggle free. The second one is swinging at Maggie. And it is going to hit for... Uh, four damage. Four? Mm-hmm. And then, do do do, do 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 It is now Clifton and Maggie's turn. Well, Clifton's turn. If we want to start splitting it up as things are getting chaotic, or you can continue pulling as a team. I'll keep pulling because I didn't get hit. <laughs> I'm also gonna keep pulling. All right, temporarily ignoring the beast in the boat. <sighs> That's an extreme for me this time. <gasps> oh my god, I rolled a one. Ooh, Woo! oh my god. So even uh. though you felt something punch hard into your back, uh, like on the rebound, the two of you tug and can hear the sounds of something breaking water nearby. Uh, there is a door, I would say within a couple of seconds, you can also like drag it. There's a door on the boat. And now it is Bucky's turn. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> one, one priority. Nurse song. Um, um, I don't remember having a turn since I last did a wiggle check. Uh, you sprayed and prayed a second time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wiggle. Um, that's a 95 for my wigglings. I'm going to push it. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I did. That's a success. Half success. All right. <laughs> Although stalling up uh, the party a little bit, Bucky is not being as terrifying as a problem as I was worried they were going to be. I ran out of luck <laughs> points. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I think he's going to say, um, like, he'll give a direction, but the only directions that he can give are to the Ikeans that are right next to party members. So there's okay. the one that's near Maggie that he points out, and then there's the one that's near Claire, and he lets Val know that she needs to be careful. All right, so... If you don't want to miss, take the blindfold off. All right, so let me start the monster's turn off. We have to roll this... Well, first... No, we do swims first. One, two, so we are at. All right, I'm just gonna add another one of these. Okay, good God. All right, this lake, party on it. Um, There are two, one more 
grabbing onto the boat this turn. The two on the surface are going to make their attacks on the same targets. So I'm just going to need two of them. Uh, what is their brawl? Oh, they multi-attack. Uh, okay, so that's one hit on Maggie. I'm just going to roll out all of the attacks. Two and three. Nothing, all right, sorry, nothing on Maggie. Two on Claire. So that's this many dice. Uh, there is a scream uh, as uh, Claire is getting struck and bludgeoned. It is looking uh, pretty terrifying for her. Bucky, roll me a sanity check. Actually, you know what? Roll me a luck check. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> you are muted. I said I can. I can physically roll those dice. Yeah, uh, the crit success still exists, but no. Make me a sanity check. No. no? Uh -uh. Okay. So although that is terrifying to see someone getting attacked by Akians, it is not a concern to you. Yeah, she's um, not part of the class of 76. She's like old enough to be one of our teachers or something. Right? All right. So it is now Val's turn. You have been given some direction. And you got a fresh pile of bones. Like caught between your leggies. Like, the more you fire, you got, like, your ammo bag right there. <laughs> God, you're the worst. Um... You'd think I'd have enough time to make a decision. We've got the boat, or we've got the uh, door on the boat, right? The door has been drug onto the pontoon boat. It's very crowded right now. Uh, okay. If, like, two or three more people got on, some people would start falling off or the boat would flip. What does our turn order look like? It is you, then Clifton, then Maggie, then Bucky. So all Sounds... the good noodles first. <laughs> yeah. Sounds useful. Can I drag Bucky over and throw the door open? Uh, you are currently in charge of the body until they break free, so yes. I'd like to do that. Okay. So, you turn the door handle, <clears throat> and the door quickly falls away and swings open because it is facing sideways on the ground, and now gravity takes hold as you look down to see a sideways-oriented room, the floor still matching where the bottom of the door would normally be, which is to your... If you were to, like, feel like there's one surface, which is probably floor, it's on your left right now, uh, you can feel the suction of air as the air pressure is getting changed. Door is open. You yeah, cannot I see inside because you are blindfolded. Yeah, I don't see shit. I, like, leap of faith, I just want to, like, fall through the door with Bucky. Okay. So, Val and Bucky fall through and slam onto the surface of, Bucky can see, a very dark, long hot, uh, hallway with faint blue lights every 10 meters and a very, very slight rotation to the hallway as it goes. To the point that it looks like it's like 15 degrees rotated about 100 feet down. It's disorienting. In the meantime, Clifton, it is your turn. Um, can, can I, uh, spend, like, double magic points to try to use my clairvoyance to see the situation we're in through the blindfold? Mm. Like, you can use your magic to... I mean, you never had to use your eyeballs before. Yeah. Um, okay. I will indeed do that. <laughs> okay. Magic points. Ooh, that's expensive. And 
that is some type of success. Oh, like seven points from a half. So a, a success, a normal success. Okay. You can tell as you float outwards that <clears throat> at least one, two of your party members are not on the boat. There is a door open somehow into the floorboards. Oh yeah, uh, now that you can quote unquote see, Bucky and Clifton make sanity checks. You are experiencing a phenomenon for the first time. Uh, what is my current sanity? Yes, I made it by three. Fail. Points. All right, so Bucky takes one point of sanity damage uh, as the orientation suddenly shifts on them and they try and process what is going on. Uh, otherwise, Clifton, you see that there is a total of, you see that there are a total of three Ikeans on the boat. Maggie and Claire are struggling against them. There is no space really for like anyone else to get on this without start starting to trip each other up or flip this boat over and make people fall. Are they being held by the Ikeans or punched by They're the being Ikeans? pummeled. They keep just okay. blunt damaging. Alright. Um can I uh basically grab them or try to grab them and just fall through the the door? Well, uh, so long as they don't struggle against you, there really wouldn't be a need for a check. I can say you can grab one person. But... I go right after you. Grab Claire. Yeah. Well, I want... A... Clifton's not going to leave until we're all through the door. So it's just... That's so you not a thing. So shove someone through. Yeah. yeah. So... But then that would require a struggle. Yeah. Um, I will I will say Claire this way and and try to get her through the door and yeah that that'll be what I tried to do I will okay yeah. NPCs operate at the same initiative as monsters so she will acknowledge your request uh and it is well is there anything else Clifton wants to do all you did was a dialogue um so uh, well, I wanted to. Like, oh yeah, you, you did do magic, yeah. Um, yeah, and I wanted to lead her rather than you know. Oh, okay, you want to grab her? To, yeah, yeah, you know, like <clears throat> reach okay. to where I think her hand is and pull her towards the door. All right, make a brawl with uh, a penalty die. Okay. Just need a normal success because they are not trying to dodge you. <laughs> Zero one. Ooh, nice. So I must not live. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, you throw them in uh, easily. It doesn't even sound like they're hurt. In fact, it sounds like they might have like either rolled to their feet or landed on their feet on the inside. Uh, and <laughs> fucking right, I would have done that if you crit failed. Um, <laughs> and so Claire, Bucky, and Val are on the inside of this door. That was Clifton, Maggie. I am having felt people uh, fall next to me into the store, heard the door open, um, possibly even just like got out of the way so the door was opening. I am going to uh, use one hand to uh, find the edge of the door, uh, specifically the, the doorknob, or at least grab the door so I can my intention here is I want to close the door in behind me. I want to jump uh, in and close the door behind me. Uh, so your feet can tell that the door is lying sideways. Uh, so you would have to get down on your hands and knees to grab at like door handles and stuff. I mean, easy enough. I assume that was like on the on uh, on my tuchus as I was pulling the <laughs> <laughs> the door in. So it okay. probably wouldn't be too much to just like move over and do that. Three. Um, Ikeans are going to try to strike at you, two of which are going mm -hmm. to land their hits mm -hmm. for a total wow, of 11. Uh, six for the first and five for the second. Okay. How are you doing? 
I'm fine. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so yeah, yeah, if you hands and feet and feel around, you can find the door frame easy enough. Wrong character. Okay, awesome. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab the uh, doorknob, and I'm going to jump in, closing it behind me. Okay. How much damage um, was that? 15? Hmm? How much damage was that? 15? Uh, 11. 11. Oh, okay. Yeah. I put that in the wrong character sheet. What? Different character sheet? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> um, okay, so make a dexterity check uh, okay. to see if you can shut this door. Oh, yeah. Easy. Success. Regular success? Yeah, regular success. Okay, you go to shut the door and you are met with a, a force as the bodies start to like like tilt downward and, and try and reach at you. Uh, they are not in, but they are stopping you from closing the door. Do I need a good success to, to close uh, the door? Well? It was contested against them. Oh, okay. And Lucky, it's your turn. Uh, I mean, he's still burritoed. He can't wiggle off the boat now. Um. This is so fucking stupid. Uh, he is going to, from his laying position, he still has his pistol unless anyone took it from him. And he's going to have your pistol. He's going to try. Uh, and you also angle. no longer pin because Val had to throw. Oh, you hell through. yeah. Uh, he's going to get out of his wraps. Okay. Lucky wow. is no longer restrained by anything, so they are free. He uh, doesn't have to roll to get out of the rope or anything. Oh yeah, they were roped. All right, give me, yeah. give me, give me a a a, a dex check. Give I think like Bucky hasn't escaped on this like three separate times already. He <laughs> is in maximum security <laughs> right now. Uh, <laughs> I am going to push it. Oh, okay. Uh, that is an extreme success. Damn. All right. So they Houdini themselves off. Uh, like it's not the first time they've done it before. You free, Bucky. Um, so everyone is inside the library. Everyone is currently inside this hallway. He is... And he sees, like, Ikeans trying to, like, keep the door or, like, push the door. Yeah, like trying to, like... They're trying to, like, reach through and still trying to, like, grab his ass, y'all. Bucky is... going to run as fast as he can towards that opening and he is going to try and body check the Ikeans on his way to run into the lake to keep that like so that way like as he checks into the Ikeans they stop pushing on the door long enough that everyone else can close it but he's also still trying to you know right okay take quick so you are going swimming. to give me a brawl it's going to be versed there dodge both of them fucking failed uh, it's, I mean, I'll, I'll push it. Fuck it. That's a failure. Uh, so you get that, uh, as you go to body check them and are met with a rubber wall. They didn't really, like, struggle against you at all. Like, they were not occupied with your action currently, but you are, uh, ass on the ground right now, still in the hallway. Okay. Shame. All right. So I'm going to give the creatures... One more go. They're going to try and fight their way through Maggie. Maggie, give me three dodge checks. I think just before Maggie does a dodge, I think Bucky would also ask, why are they trying to get in? I thought they only wanted parts of other Ikeans. Half success. Okay. Uh, another half success. Oh, these okay, are different dice, okay. too. And regular success. Damn. Okay, so the extreme success hit is going to go through. The rest of them fail, but that does still mean a bonus die of damage. Uh, seven damage from one of them as they try and beat and bludgeon you away from the door to push, uh, to get at you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Please fully exit the, the, the store at your earliest convenient. We are closed. And uh, Claire's going to scream about shutting the door. 
uh, but she is currently nursing many beat ups. Um, and uh, it is Val's turn. They're still trying to push their way through the door. They're trying to reach at Maggie, uh, who is trying to close the door. All right. Can I just like use the butt of my gun to just like try and jab them back through? Okay. Give me a brawl. You've got to get a hard success been, or better. I should have been doing this from the fucking beginning, my friends. Um, <laughs> I got to get a hard success, you say. Yep. I can spend for this. Why not? Send it, friends. Okay. Then you manage to knock them away from the door just long enough for Maggie's body weight to push into it and slam it shut. Uh, there's only a few short pounds on this door. Hang on, where is it? Let's go with this. There are only a few short pounds on the door before they immediately stop. Uh, and you hear faintly through the other side. Thank you for leaving. We hope to see you soon. And as you find yourself in this strange, slightly spiraled hallway, this would be a perfect time to go for a break. Excellent. So we're going to try and be back in five to ten minutes. Don't go into a place unless it's to grab a food, grab a drink, grab a friend, or possibly go to indooradventure.redbubble.com. Pick yourself up something nice, and we'll see you all shortly. All right, everybody. I hope this button works. It didn't. Aw, oh, man. Well, just a sec. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome! We are back from our break. Be our guests in this library of fate. Media, take us away. All right, so... The party managed to get through the door at the bottom of the lake, which is now in a boat. At the top of the lake. Um, and they are in a hallway. It's very dark, save for essentially glow stick bright blue lights every 10 meters all the way down in both directions. It's a straight hallway that ever so slightly skews and rotates as it goes to the point that it is noticeable at a far enough distance with what little light is available. How do y'all feel right after that? Oh, I should mention one thing right off the bat. Bucky feels free. I was going to ask, is my is my co connection to the lake severed? You do not feel any need or desire to return to the lake. Oh, he's just going to cry. He's gonna I big tackle old baby Bucky tears. into the ground. <laughs> he's already on the ground. You can just like drive tackle him. I will, it's, it will continue to tackle Bucky into the ground. <laughs> Give him the people's elbow. Just... <laughs> Yeah, Bucky's already having a big old cry with a very hoarse voice because he just got choked out for like... He's been being choked out for like two days now. You've tried to kill us like three separate Not occasions. Like actively. Kill. It's fine. But yeah, he's just... <laughs> he is... He's just crying. He doesn't know like what's going on. He's going through a lot of shell shock right now. I and am, he's not uh, a, going. He's not a pretty crier. It's CW ugly cry. <laughs> I'm going to full body restrain uh, Bucky with my own, um, taking zero chances. He is simply crying. It You're could be crying attacked. and being tackled now. He's crying, <laughs> being tackled. He'll let you. He's a wimp. He's a he's a wimp and a limp noodle. Uh, and I'll look at the others and I'll say, or as I am actively uh, rapping. Bucky up uh, in my own body, I will say, all right, so now what do we do? Especially looking over to Claire, who I'm assuming is very hurt. She's very hurt, um, and uh, she's trying to pull something out of her pocket. There's less of a struggle going on right now, so she has an easier time. And she pulls out uh, a strange-looking machine with two uh, silvery-looking rods on it. 
and a gauge. Uh, if anyone wants to give me a mechanical or electrical check or a history check to identify the device she pulls out, regardless of the check, it seems it is broken as she tilts it and water pours out of the machine. What is it? Mech repair? Mech, that- electric, or uh, uh, history. I was one off from a critical fail. I'm not going to bother pushing it. I, Bucky's just crying. <laughs> a nosebleed from knowledge. Yeah. Uh, that is a half success. Okay. Uh, you at least recognize it as a Geiger counter. Um, it was uh, prepped and ready to go in her cargo pocket, but she looks disappointed to find out that it is busted. Look at that! Looks like one of those! <laughs> a radiator thing. Ra- radiation thing. Okay. Um... At this point, do we know that it was a that was there was a nuclear bomb? The it only did... person who heard anything to confirm was Bucky, who is now crying and pinned. Uh, they screamed some stuff about bombs, but also while they were talking about their uh, class of seventy six friends. Okay, then I will we'll say, uh, all right, uh, cool, cool little gadget there. Is that also like some SCP magic thing? Who are you talking to? Or are you just talking to Claire? Claire. Claire. I'm oh. Claire. I'm talking to Claire. What? I'm sorry. I couldn't. I'm I'm all sorts of fucked up right now. What's going on? What did you say? Uh, I said, that's a cool little gadget you got there. Uh, is that another magic SCP thing or like? No, it's just a regular gadget. Well, I mean, it's just junk now. Regular junk. Regular non-anomalous junk that can't help us. And she kind of just tosses it to the side. Was it supposed to? I mean... Well, I mean, we were out there for a lot longer than I was expecting, so, like, I just wanted to make sure we aren't suffering from radiation damage, but I can't really do that right now, so I guess we'll find out in, like, 15, 20 minutes. Is this place radi- Is this place radiation? Like looking at my my hands, I don't know anything about radiation. I didn't watch Chernobyl <laughs> on HBO, um, and I'm just like, am I suffering radiation poisoning? This is a fallout for the bobs. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, like yes. I said, like unless we can detect like any radiation in the atmosphere or anything or around our bodies, there's really no way for us to tell until it's kind of like too late. So here's Chris hoping. Yeah, I mean, at least we're not going to die on that damn lake. Is there... Are Claire's injuries in a... in a manner that any first aid would help? You know what I mean? I mean, Not really. She's got a lot okay. of bruises and a black eye, but there's no broken bones. <clears throat> She's not bleeding anywhere. Now then she needs a sling or ribs wrapped or... Not any... yet. Okay, all right. A little sun is on the colita, and then she'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, do I recognize the hallway? It's a new hallway to you, but it is familiar. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I guess let's just go down the hallway. I mean, not much other option we got. Okay, but like which way? I mean, there's a door behind us, right? Uh, no, the door is on like the side of this hallway that stretches in both directions oh. for what seems to be uh, an unlimited amount of time. <clears throat> um, I will allow and be like, hey, which way do we go? To no one in particular. And Just Clifton, Clifton will in look case at someone says something. Yeah, Clifton will look at Val and be like, do you still have cards or a way to prognosticate? I know that comes back from Maggie's call out is just echoes of her own voice. Uh, She turns to you. She hasn't taken her blindfold off yet. She just nods. (laughs) 
Uh, I believe we're okay to remove our blindfolds now that the lake is not within visual reference. Um, Val's gonna pull a card. Bucky says nice. he never wants to see that lake again, <clears throat> or any lake for that matter. So, Bu- so Val will pull a card, and by that we mean she will pop some bobble, boggle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. We don't have any cards anymore. Damn! Well, you, bo- you got boggle dice. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, we don't have critical successes, do we? Yes, you do. What's a critical success considered? I will give you as detailed of an answer as I can give you. It's and you just can be a, very specific or very vague with your question. Uh, the more successful just, you are, the more info I divulge. I, I just rolled a two on the die. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sad that I'm wasting it on this. Uh, <laughs> my question is, is it okay to take off our blindfold? <laughs> Oh what a God, question. So All right. <laughs> I can with absolute certainty tell you that unless you open this door and poke your head back out, you'll no longer need to be blindfolded. All right. Um, Until you go into a situation in which you need to blindfold. But currently, you do not she, need to be blindfolded. She rolls the dice onto the ground, just like puts her hand over it, feels the scratches in the face, uh, and then picks them up stands up and just sort of like pushes the blindfold up um and she's gonna look over at the door and say we should make sure that this can't open it's like a picture of val with soaking sleeveys mm-hmm. <laughs> water splashing everywhere making floppy oh my sounds god. the Oh my god, the dice and the car whatever her di- divination uh items are they're just like in the front pocket of her hoodie <laughs> just stuff them in there and then like walk back over to the uh to the door and just like if she has hose or or rope or anything she's just gonna she's gonna try and wrap it up in just a little turn some lock way. yeah to prevent it from opening whatever way she can she can jury rig this okay just um a- it, the only things that you have right now is a blanket and rope that you can okay. use um rope. otherwise I'll take, yeah i'll take the rope Okay. Uh, is this door, like, just, like, in, standing in space, or is it in a wall? It is embedded into the wall like it was supposed to be there. Hmm. Uh, it is a turn-style handle with a mechanical, or a, 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 uh, what's it called? A deadlock above it. Uh, it looks kind of just like a house door. All right. Uh, she's gonna turn the deadlock, like, and then take a rope, and then, like, sort of like wrap it around the deadlock and then wrap it around the handle so that the deadlock can't turn back. All right. So Val is securing the door, making sure that no one will ever use it again. And then she's gonna, she'll step back and then she'll scratch a rune into the door itself uh, and just sort of nod and then turn to Clifton and say, can you write do not open on this door? Clifton, uh, as Val turns to ask that to you, you notice that the rune that Val etched begins to glow a faint brick orange uh, as the door suddenly rapidly decays, uh, the wood turning black and cracking, peeling a little bit. Um, The rope is fine, and the door handle is still secure, but the door suddenly just rapidly decays to the point that it looks like it's like a thousand year old abandoned door <laughs> all right and then yeah i'll pull a sharpie from my messenger bag and you know in block letters do not open <laughs> in what language oh uh <laughs> english don't all right. dead open inside yes I'll, exactly uh, i'll hang the goggles that i I blacked out onto the uh, onto the door handle, um, and I'm gonna look. And this is just a hallway lined with doors. No, this hallway has a single door. Just that, the one behind us. Just the just the one on the side, and then a long hallway in both directions. It's like that scene from that animated movie Inception. Um, I will... can I like look down the left 
critically and then do the same thing looking down the right way and uh, try to get a vibe from either direction. All right, we can have vibe check. What do you want to do? You can do a spot hidden, hit a spot hidden to see if um, you see anything. Um, I'll listen if you hear anything. Otherwise, there is no detail to help you make any type of navigational check, nor does this particular hallway strike any bells to Clifton. And I'll... Well... I'm gonna push that one, by the way. Well, she's vibe-checking. I will once again look at Val and be like, so this time, could you prognosticate which direction to go? I uh, I rolled an extreme success. I pushed that from a 90-something to an 11. That was yeah. 100% worth it. Nice. For which one? <laughs> uh, spot hidden. Spot hidden. Okay. Maggie squints and stares down both hallways for a long, long time, hoping that there is going to be some slight motion or your eyes adjust enough to the darkness to see some difference. There is none. There are two slightly rotating or slightly spiraling hallways that seem to lead on as far as your eyes can tell. Are they um, going in the same direction? Does it look like they're enclosing like in the large uh, circle? Th they're not like curving the right or left. They are just slightly... Oh, rotating as they go. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Clif Clifton asks, uh, can you pro prognosticate which way to go? Um, and Val just looks both directions and then looks at him and shakes their head. <laughs> and it, he makes that kind of face and then... Uh, <laughs> Looks over at Maggie, who was just looking. No, they look exactly the fucking same. And we just Clifton, gotta choose the side to go. Yeah, Clifton will just turn to the left and go. Um. <laughs> All right, left we go. <clears throat> oh. I am uh, holding uh, Bucky. He's, um, he's not fighting. Arm. Yeah, he's not fighting. He's become anymore, much more complacent. Yeah, he seems really. I don't down. care. His legs still I'm just busted. I'm continue doing it. And he, it, this seems he's almost like this is like the first time that he's noticed that his leg is like yeah, right? super fucked up. So, if, uh, if he really starts struggling, I'll pick you up. But aside from that, I'll just hold you, or hold your hand or arm or whatever. Just like, okay. who would be first? Uh, if if this was D and D five foot hallway style, like what's the marching order? <laughs> Clifton. I was gonna say usually Bucky it was hobbling. Bucky getting sent forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, but I, I started walking. So, okay. So Clifton is up front leading the group. The rotation of the hallway doesn't seem to be felt by your body at all. But when you look backwards, you do see cocked at an angle. Now on the wall is the door. <clears throat> your speed is slowed by the fact that Bucky and Claire are both injured. Bucky's leg is broken. Claire is just injured in general. And you walk and walk and walk for what feels like an hour or more in a straight line, spiraling an unknown amount of times before eventually getting to a metal door, like a fire escape, with a push bar as a handle, dead ending this long hallway. Um, I feel the door. Does it just feel like a cool metal door? Does it feel hot? Does it? The metal is cold to the touch. Um, there is a very slight vibration to it. Uh, at this point, realizing that he lost his his 
walking stick uh, on the boat. He'll pull the sword from his belt uh, again by the blade, not the handle, and then use the handle to tap the door. Metallic thud, thud. Yeah. And there's a slight echoing in the hallway, very faint. A um, few seconds pass. Nothing responds. Um, I have something GB wants to say, but Clifton would never. Um, <laughs> he'll turn to his companions and say, this may be a different world. This may be the same world. It may be the end of our journey. Do we wish to go forward? Have we gotten any sort of con- Have any of us gotten any information that would apply to the situation we're in right now of just like making a choice between doors any vague shit not god told us or someone else did mm, no nope. that you guys um, can think of 343 three said that as soon as y'all got through that door they would no longer have any idea how it would affect timelines and universes which is why they were so excited and encouraging to get you to it um so you knew how to get here hint wise but now you are completely blind Mm-hmm. Well, less blind than before. Mm-hmm. And uh, as he's looking at them all, he'll look to Val one more time and say, your divination and such is no use here? No good? No... Can you... I didn't say that. Ah. Good. I'm going to try to look beyond the door would you like to if we open the door do we have to go through it well we could starve or dehydrate here no I mean sorry um so there there are the doors that we're looking at right now right so if we just open the door oh fuck it ended the hallway ended at a door right this 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 direction and this hallway dead end there is just a door this is like macaulay culkin's page master this is the exit this is what we've been looking for at least on the left but we walked for what an hour or two to get here and yeah, Clifton will try to clairvoyance beyond the door. All right. Begin focusing your energies. Ooh, ooh, ah. Can we flip dice? Is this like is Y hander? Um, <laughs> uh, um, I'm going. Yeah, I will just fail. Yeah, I pulled yeah. a 90. <laughs> you try and see through this door, but it seems to be incredibly difficult, or something is blocking the way, or you're just off your game, yep. but you do not see anything. I got nothing. And he, he, kind of, he looks, you know, uh, d- downtrodden. <laughs> And he'll just sit on sit on the floor. What kind of door did you say it was? A uh, a push door? Like a a metal push door's got like one of those bars that you have to depress to let it open. Like a store one or like a like a gym emergency door? door? Like yeah, one like a like a gym door. You're trying to leave from the gym, and you got to push the bar down, and then the door can open. No. Oh. Bucky will offer to do it. I'll I'll open it. I was just right. basically like Bucky opening it. Um, <laughs> we do it together, okay? <laughs> Maggie and Bucky <laughs> cobble over, and you press on the door and push it, and you are all momentarily blinded by a bright light that shines through 
uh, as if walking out of cave to broad daylight. And there is a dryness to the air to the point that all your lips feel like they are already getting ready to chap. And as your eyes adjust to the to light, it looks like you have opened an exit to a building. If you poke your head out enough to look around in that side, you can see that you are in some sort of office building on the first floor exit. And around you are aged, some partially destroyed, mostly just aged by ne neglect and decay buildings. Modern, just like a normal city, but everything is slightly brown. There is a blowing wind and some sand dusting through. Some sort of wasteland or abandoned city. Not this one. Uh, all right, well, we know it's not this one. And I uh, close the door. <laughs> all right. Like, well, we know it. Well, we know it's behind that door. Maybe we should yeah. go back to the other side. <laughs> walk the other way and see what's behind that one and make our choice then at least four hours pass in total getting to this door and backing up so recover slight magics for everyone um and you eventually do return to the destroyed decayed door that you had come out of and continue <clears throat> uh <laughs> down at this next hallway uh uh, can I real quick sharpie, sharpie an extra bit, like, uh, possible nuclear wasteland, and then the date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T you uh, you TTD it, <laughs> um, and uh, start walking in the other direction. This one feels disorienting, as even though you looked and squinted and felt like it went on just as long as the other hallway, you take 15 steps at best before you realize you are no more than 10 feet away from what looks like a swinging kitchen door. Like a restaurant swinging kitchen yeah. door? Just a simple swinging door. There is a view hole made ah. with some sort of like plastic glass. Uh, there's a couple of scratches on it. It looks well used. Bucky, you look through the hole. You look through the hole to see a set of metal catwalks that go both up and down. And there are various looking doors on each floor as you kind of peek upwards and downwards. Some sort of shaft. Most of the doors have like boards on them and are uh, caution taped away. Uh, every once in a while, like if you look down, there's a green door uh, that is unblocked. If you look up, there's like a Western saloon style door, but it's complete darkness on the other side. Um, I don't. Um, there's there's more doors. There's like a, a lot, a lot. There's more. I don't. I'm tired. My leg hurts. I'm cold. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> no, I must say. Right, Clifton? Live, live in the moment. And then uh, I'll take off my outer shirt and give it to Bucky. <laughs> Bucky will ask Claire, um, is this where we need to go? Well, I mean, like, I don't know i mean we i we could look at the compass and see if that helps us otherwise like like i again i i'm on the same like level as everyone else i knew that i had to get to the door to leave before the world was scorched earth uh but i don't know what we're supposed to do or where to go to get to wherever we need to go hmm Bucky will just look over at Maggie because Maggie's got a compass. I was going to say. Maggie does not have a compass. Maggie does not have a compass. Maggie had to drop the compass when we fell into a lake. What? Who would have 
done that? Who would have driven us into a lake? That doesn't sound like <laughs> they were, you know, they got that on their shoulders. It's down there, it's down there with good old Robbie. Oh, R.I.P. Right, never forget. <gasps> the door opens and it's Robbie walking in with the gun. No. It's us. <laughs> 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 oh no, he also has the bard again. <laughs> Robbie, no! Just <laughs> carrying it above his head. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, what do you have? Bard again! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Exactly. Um. Otherwise, do you proceed through this kitchen door into this stairway of doors? We have yeah. to. Let us go. It's better than the heat. I mean, if we're just going to be going door to door, we got to make sure we we take care of us first. I know that there's apparently some sort of apocalypse going on. At least y'all are under the impression we are, so... We need to at least find food, water, at least water. And uh, then we can move on from there. So let's make our choices, our first choice to just, if we don't find wherever the fuck we need to go, let's just get water and food where we can. <laughs> Clifton gets this like thousand yard stare like, yeah, I've been in that before <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> and then just takes a step towards the first door. All right, so you open the swinging kitchen door and the metallic ring of uh, footsteps on meshed metal echo up and down this shaft, uh, letting you know that you've transitioned into it. There are one to four doors on each floor. Most of them seem to be boarded or taped up in some way. Now that you're in here, you can look down and see further. There's a green door immediately below you. There are four more floors, it looks like, and then some sort of ground level. The above continues to the point of darkness, but there is a saloon-style door, and then two floors above that, it looks like an elevator door that is not blocked off. And the green door below isn't blocked off. Correct. Alright. Uh, yeah, Clifton will just start walking towards the green door. Okay. So you get to the green door. Um, it smells of fresh oak. Um, and there is very faint music playing on the other side. Touch it. Nice wooden door, green paint, no vibrations. Uh... I will try to look beyond. <laughs> Whoa, it's an expensive magic day. Wow. Oh, but that's, a, that's, yeah, that's a good thing. That is exactly half success. All right. So, you... I don't remember the number of this one. You <clears throat> look through the door and try and envision what is on the other side. And you see, like, a fairground. It's playing, you know, festival music. There's lights shining, children playing. Everyone seems to be just holding hands and having fun. There are trees with what look like faces on them, watching everything. Beyond that, there doesn't seem to be any immediate threat. And it, it appears to be people, people, like... Yeah, there's children beings. everywhere, like somewhere between the age range of like 6 and 12. No adults? And how are they dressed? Various toddler to uh, I don't fucking kid clothes. Uh, shit, you would get a gap, I guess. <laughs> okay. All clothes right. that children of the okay. correct size would wear. <laughs> all right. Yeah, not not not. I, I, no one's wearing like ye old fashion yeah, or, or like sci fi nonsense. Or flowing uh, anime mm -hmm. capes or whatever. Okay. Looks like so, some regular uh, kids. Any 
pulls his hand away. And, you know, it appears to be children at a festival. Clifton, have you yeah. been to the library before? Yes. What door did the library have? That's where you need to go, right? I instantly recall. <laughs> you instantly recall <laughs> being lost in hallways and stairways like this before, occasionally ah. popping open doors, marking them with like a little piece of stick, exploring on the other side and coming back. Eventually, you found what looked like a hotel lobby in which you met someone who could help orient you. Hmm. Okay. Um... I will then say all of that, uh, yep, to everyone about, you know, a hotel lobby. Which um, door would take us to a lobby? And he looks up at the elevator door. Um, do I recognize any of these doors? You remember from your time, your long time wandering these hallways, that it's impossible to get a sense of navigation. There's been times where you've gone to backtrack in the entire layout of rooms and have changed. Doors are now missing. New doors appear. Long hallways suddenly become MC Escher staircases. It seems to be a constantly changing and transforming labyrinth okay. of doors to other places. All right. Uh, and I will again i'll do the professor you know cage and explain all of that uh how it, uh, mm -hmm. it's ever changing sorry i can't be any more specific than that like, so we just gotta keep going through doors until we until we find the fucking library yes I would assume at this point, I. And he he looks at these guys like, ah, oh, crap. This is you know, it's easy for him to live in the now, but <laughs> you know, Bucky's <laughs> busted up, Claire's you know bruised and stuff, and and of course, yeah, he, Maggie's aura is always one of agitation, so uh. <laughs> He, he doesn't want to let her down, but he's got nothing. He's got nothing. And I'll say, there's food here. And pointing towards the green door. My guess currently would be the elevator possibly could enter into a hotel lobby. Couldn't hurt to try. Well, let's get some food first for you guys get some water for all of us and then we'll come back we'll grab the food come back and try to make our way up i guess open okay. the green door you open Just the green door he does that okay oh. uh val will stand in the way and roll a dice <laughs> Just boggle real quick. Yeah, let me just boggle this door real quick. <laughs> Clifton looks as perturbed as Clifton ever looks, which is not very, but like, oh, now. The Spock can. eyebrow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, success. The question is, is it safe to get food here? Uh, what level of success did you get? Uh, do, 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 do. A normal success. Normal success. No. She'll just turn around and give Clifton like a stern look. It's not safe here. And he'll he'll like uh, elevator door. Let's try there. And and then he'll he'll take like the first step and then stop and turn and look Val in the eyes and be like, Thank you. <laughs> and then So when you get to the walking. elevator, there are eight buttons in a circular pattern with arrows pointing in every direction, 
Like you're looking at like an Axis oh panel God, on a controller. It's a fucking Wonka Vader. <laughs> it goes up ways and sideways and slant ways and long ways. <laughs> Might launch out of the roof. Um, but yes, what button do you press? <laughs> all of them. Do you just mush all of them? Is Clifton deciding which button to press? No, oh, I was just, yeah, we were. I mean, I saw Bucky stretch their hand out. Is someone <laughs> <to> stop Bucky? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, so roll a 1d8 for me, Bucky. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like how no one stopped him. Like, he's like... <laughs> Everyone's, like, so, like, emotionally dead from, exactly. like, the lake. Exactly. Singular one. Singular one. Convenient. All right. So you mush all of them. Beep, boop. And only the down button is lit as, you, like, it seems to be only one or the other kind of deal. <clears throat> and after a few seconds, you start to hear the sound of an elevator arriving on the other side. And eventually the confirming bing bong as the door slides open and a regular looking hotel elevator is on the inside. It's playing faint elevator music. It's got like a hex pattern. Uh, uh, I was trying to think of the room from uh, The Shining, but um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like standard spooky, like hotel lobby carpet, this kind of stuff. Uh. Bucky will hop in if no one stops him and uh I'll look in and see if there's a lobby button on the inside there's a total of God. like 150 buttons uh. they stretch up into the ceiling and kind of just take up whatever space they can but literally the wonka vader yeah as you're looking at numbers and symbols and shapes and smells eventually you do see one that just says l all right i'm gonna stand in the uh, way and roll perfect <laughs> perfect yeah we'll we'll, we'll kind of drag bucky back out for just a second and hold the door uh expensive the door but a normal close, success <laughs> a normal success yeah. Um, my question is, will this take us to the lobby? Yes. The lobby is the, the place we lobby. need to go, right? Yeah, the lobby that we need to get to. <laughs> like the capital L lobby. Exactly. Yeah, the lobby. The that that is lobby. that is her intent. <laughs> is the lobby that Clifton spoke of? Yes. <laughs> Monkey paw. Right. Specific specificity um yeah Devil's that's contract. the that's um, the question um val like doesn't move from their spot but looks inside the uh inside the uh elevator and says it will take us to the lobby <laughs> going down <laughs> bucky just like shambles in <laughs> all right Right. Uh, I'm assuming someone presses the button once everyone's in. Yeah, yeah. brave new, brave new world breath and press. <laughs> All right. Uh, can everybody make me a dexterity check as this elevator accelerates downward? I was gonna say. I was gonna uh, say like, Val like, like hyper squats <laughs> in the elevator, pushing it like okay. success. Does right. not like moving Whoa. box. Right. Okay, we're getting in this box for reasons. <laughs> what were we Unnatural. Uh, Dex. Dex. Locomotion. Mm -hmm. I rolled a seven, but that's not an extreme success. So I'll, no, I'll no use the point to get the extreme. Going. Nice. It's really I've funny. Got a, I've got a I'm going success. to spend the a single luck point to to make it a normal success. Just, right. So really everyone manages to like keep their footing mostly. Uh, Val is having a different experience than everyone else, but well, I guess everyone is having a strange experience as this thing hyper train accelerates. Yeah. Uh, and after like a second and a half, comes to an aggressive stop, uh, slamming everybody but Maggie to their butts. No one's injured, <laughs> but it is disorienting. Uh, and bing bong. The elevator door opens, and you see what looks like a standard 
four-star hotel. There's a little bit of gold trimming here and there. There's chandelier lights. Uh, there's still like lobby music playing somewhere from speakers. There's the smell of cinnamon rolls and beer <laughs> and a little copper bell at the front desk where there are little uh, envelope looking like old school key card things. Welcome Walk. to the lobby. Walk Bells just it. in the fetal position, like on the ground, like hands over their head. Uh, make a sanity offer. check, Val. <laughs> oh, good. As this technology is not a new phenomenon for the rest of the party. <laughs> uh, success. It, you're you're really gonna have to try hard for me to fail a sanity <laughs> check. Success. All Trauma right. Startling, but well. not uh, trauma to to help you up. No. I look at Clifton and I'm like, "Is this it? Is this the right lobby?" Perfect recall says yes. Okay. It would appear so. It Here, smells like Daniel. continental oh. dinner. Oh, now lots off the floor. <laughs> like yeah, literally you room service. <laughs> As I'll I'll walk out. Dragon Bucky behind me. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's trying to keep up. And right. like I said, I'll help you if you need at any point. I don't like injure you out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So helping Bucky in, you enter. It seems fine so far. No change in pressure or you know, strange abandoned buildings. Just seems like a normal lobby. It's empty, of course, but nothing is dirty. Nothing is destroyed. There is a sense of peace, at least. And Bucky, you'll sit down in one of the big lobby chairs. And, like, the air, like, out as you slowly <laughs> sink in a couple of inches. The I'll go leather. up and I'll... I'll go to the... To the help desk, you know. If no one's there, I'll ring the bell. All right. As soon as the vibrations of sound enter the area, there is a person on the other side of the counter directly in front of you, Maggie. Ah. Can I help you? Oh, I... I am yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, well, I my friends are gonna have some uh, other needs. Uh, do you guys have like water or something that uh, certainly complimentary water? Yeah. If you head to the food court, you can find what you need. Continental breakfast is on the house. Oh, uh, which way to the food court? Do I see what uh, they're pointing at? Yeah, there is like a continental breakfast style area with little but tiny boxes of cereal, donuts. Like this is set up okay. like a hotel. Okay. Um, awesome. I'll Will you look be over... staying here? That uh, will be uh, dealt with with my friend Clif Clifton. I Can know. you? Come forward. Have I ever Thank met you so entity? much. <laughs> it's good to see again. Yes, it's good to be back. I'm attempting to orient us. We've been sent to find the library again, if you would be so kind. Ah, yes. Well, you have entered the right door again. If you recall, you merely have to travel up the steps to get to the library. Please note what door you enter, for it is difficult to find your way back again if you ever shut a door. Most appreciated. Have a great day. And they'll give a little I will see you bow. soon. <laughs> uh, Maggie goes and grabs us some waters and some snacks from the Continental. Uh, breakfast area. We have that at the end of the Avengers Shwarma King. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We're like, just like, oh, God. Um. Val's just over at the cereal bar stuffing boxes of cereal into their kangaroo pouch. <laughs> nice. Sweet. You got some Chapel Axe. You got some, 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 some unlucky charms. You got just some regular balls. smacks. 
Just, just, just regular smacks. Yeah. Smacks. <laughs> oh, that's Honeycomb awesome. is there. But they the don't beast have is on like like horrific looking. They don't have kicks, they have slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Get kisses instead of kicks. Aww. Kids are for tricks. <laughs> All right, so everybody gets some food in them. Everyone gets some drink in them. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Wanderer's Library. Yeah. Once we get some food, up the yeah. stairs. Make yeah. Sure we have that short res respite. <laughs> and the Bucky's that. just eating a blueberry muffin as we're going. <laughs> <laughs> so after a short not... rest in, in food restock, you'll head up to uh, a set of double doors with a blast a brass placard on it that says uh, Library of Alexandria. Alright. Uh, Let's go. Show enter. Guys, I don't think uh, this is the right one. The we were looking for the Library of the Wanderer, not Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, Bucky opens the door to show you all like this fucking kicks beasts library's ass uh this is what looks like like it gives you infinite ikea feel as soon as you walk in there as you cannot see the top of any bookshelf there are ladders that stretch into what look like clouds forming above you the hallways go forever there are books upon books upon books upon books in this place this is an infinite library you feel like if you stayed here long enough, you would be able to accumulate all knowledge. Probably lose your mind in the process, but... <laughs> That's half the fun. There is a circular desk, like a reception area with a brass bell uh, on it. Otherwise, there is a little, uh, like, uh, reference guide uh, next to the desk. Kind of things are we looking for in this library? A place to sit. Oh yeah, there's ch there's <laughs> chairs and little reading nooks everywhere. Uh, you can even climb up on some of the shelves and sit on chairs that are like halfway up the shelves. I for can't resting. climb up shit. No, not with this busted <laughs> ass leg. I'm sitting on ground level. Uh, Clifton just looks like he's home, and just kind of. Yeah, he's he's uh, going to kind of yeah, d d um, you know, half lotus sit on the floor, ac maybe across from Bucky, and just kind of. I'm sure we'll realize our purpose at some point. Um, what kind of hippie shit is that? Can <laughs> we like speed this up or like? Are what you, are you there, God? Bucky? It's me, Bucky. <laughs> I want to. I want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. Val's going to sit down next to Bucky, and sort of poke him in the shoulder, and then like gesture their hands out like this he'll, he'll play along he'll put his hands out uh she's gonna reach into her pocket and pull out a box of grape nuts and just like shake some into his hands they, grapes don't have nuts either they do they have seeds and seeds are kind of like a nut just like puts one in her mouth and Clifton goes to tell them that there is no grapes or nuts in grape nuts, but he just <laughs> lets it go. <laughs> yeah, it's just the two of them eating the driest cereal. No, that's that's the cereal that's not different out of all of the ones that are listed. It's literally exactly. just grape nuts. <laughs> the driest cereal known to man, and we are eating it out of box in a library so library quiet other than <laughs> as we're just fucking <laughs> chewing rocks over here you're grinding just like your one teeth. at a time looking around the library <laughs> oh shoot what about you maggie uh, what are you up to 
Um, I'm looking for like a librarian or somebody who like can assist me here. Um, there is a reception looking desk with another bell on it. Uh, otherwise you can always wander the hall. You can do the re look for, looking for your parents in a grocery store, wander the hallway and look at down aisles. I'm gonna start off with this, uh, this desk first. Gonna hit that little bell. Hello again. How Hi. can I assist you? Yeah. So why are we here again? Why did one come to the library? Is this supposed to answer a question of how to get back home? Is that why we did this? No one I ever asked my chooses to come here the first time. But you stay long enough, you'll get the answers that you seek. Yeah, but like, what does that mean? Stay here long enough? As far as I am aware, if you look long enough, you will find specific knowledge that you're trying to obtain, the answers that you're looking for, the guidance that you might need. Ah, or you can shit. just learn some nifty things. What was that thing in school? Fuck. The Dewey Desasaltenden? Do y'all have that? Does that thing work here? Do have organization or like... Certainly. I have a perfect memory of this place. I can tell you where any book is and how far you need to travel. All right, cool. Um, and do you have a book on? Well, who's the who's that guy? I yell over towards Val. Um, that you're looking for? Who are you looking for? <laughs> Just Bucky and Val eating cereal and both turn. <laughs> Just a. Shrug and a shake of the head. I think it was the wanderer. Is I is wanderer? That's that's the person, right? Mm. Yeah. These are so dry. I have been called that from time to time as I find myself wandering these halls for as long as time can remember. If oh, you are looking the... for the wanderer, you might have found one. Hey, Val! Val! I think I found your your guy. I found I found the guy. But put the girl the scout get over here. Cereal goes back into the kangaroo pouch. <laughs> Walks over. Uh this uh is uh claiming to be the wanderer, or one of apparently? A wanderer? There is only ever one. Ah, uh, it's not comforting. It's right here. They're right here. Uh, Val's going to stare at them for a moment, and then throw some dice on the table. I thought you were going to throw them at them. I was <laughs> <laughs> just bounce it off their head. <laughs> like, damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ask your question and roll your dice. All right. Uh, I've got a success on the roll. Um, it's not a super success. It's just a regular one. Okay. Um, good. Spend my magic points, of which I have very few left now, friends. Um, yeah, just a normal success. Those my question is, ahead. is this the Wanderer I seek? All right, chronic illnesses aside, the answer is, this is the present Wanderer. Is there something I can assist you with? Uh, or are we playing a game? Shit, do we still have the uh, the book? We've got the book, right? We is a big word. Hard do to nod have with the this. Book? You have the book, <laughs> kangaroo pouch. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Which is now basically like a bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> Val's going to pull out the book uh, and place it on the table. We need help reading this. Ah, the Book of Sarkic Knowledge. You will definitely find everything in here, but it takes a heavy toll. I cannot read it for you, but I can teach someone to read it, should they be willing to make the sacrifice. 
uh, Clifton, you know, gets up out of the half lotus and comes over. I he looks at Val, and if you do, says, if you do not mind, I won't forget what I read or see. <sighs> and I'm willing to try. What is the price? Replacement is the price. Should you learn knowledge that should not be learned in this library, we will become. And the, and I will be replaced. Uh, yeah, Clifton actually does that, like, cracks his, his bones and, you know, rolls his... Clifton! Yeah. Bucky nods. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. He, he gives a little bow to you, uh, Bucky, and then... Um, I'm willing. Indeed you are. Well then, it shouldn't take long. If your friends would like to wander a little, please try and keep the amount of lefts and rights that you take to heart. It's very easy to get lost here. If you are not, well, Uh, so they leave the three of you to wander around and learn whatevs. If you were to like walk through the aisles or anything, uh, is there a particular subject matter you would like to try and find on the shelves while Clifton is being taught this forbidden language? Cars, more cars. <laughs> I want to learn. I want to learn how to. Bucky wants to effectively learn how to like try and figure out how to make a transformer. He wants to ha or like the mock or like the speed racer like the Mach 5. Like he wants to learn how to like have a car but have the car do other shit. Not like Kit Knight Rider or maybe Kit from Knight Rider. Actually, yeah, Kit from Knight Rider. He wants to learn how to make Kit from Knight Rider. All right, roll me a luck check. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to find it. No. Nope. I got a 13 and I only have three luck left. So it's a no-go for right. me. You do find a lot of books on cars and flying cars, ground cars, but nothing on building a super cool stunt car or transformer car or racer X. I blame my leg. Go back to sitting. <laughs> what about Val or Maggie? Would you try and find some sort of knowledge on the shelves? Nah, this is some spooky shit. I ain't touching a damn shit. thing. Oh yeah, speaking of spooky shit, everybody should make a sanity check for this. Well, actually, everybody but Clifton needs to make a sanity check for experiencing this library. Oh, right. I was gonna say, didn't I take a sanity or fail the sanity roll thing earlier, but that was just the hallway, or is that different? Oh, you entered uh, Knights in the Court, uh, but yes, you still have to make another uh, okay. check. <laughs> Success. It's a fail. I got a success. Not only can Bucky not find cool books, he's having a bad time being around this many books. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you succeed, you understand that is a, this is a non-Euclidean library of constantly changing and adding and editing of knowledge. The ones that succeed will take more sanity damage than the ones who cannot comprehend how oh, obscenely yeah. large this place is. So passers are taking four, failers are taking one. I, I had a critical fail, I just want to point out. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, uh, critical fail is... Uh, Temporary insanity? Uh, let me double check, because like you're, you technically when you fail a sanity check, it's kind of beneficial because you don't understand what's going on. Uh, but let me just double check this particular skill. Sanity, check. Push for failure, pass success. PDX Wiz is like insta-death. Um. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, Bucky just dies right here after yeah, the roll finish line. Roll a 1d100 for a bout of temporary insanity. 47. 47. Let me find the table. I need to get to a high place. Sanity, sanity, sanity. Sanity, sanity. There it is. Uh, 76. 47. You said 47. All right. Roll the d10 for me. Six. Six. All right. Uh, for the next ten minutes, or for the next six minutes, rather, sorry, uh, you are <coughs> overcome with violent rage as you oh, cannot no. understand to the point of frustration. If anyone gets near you, you will attack them. Yeah, but, but only with melee stuff. Oh, okay. So you went just like, like Snap, pull him again! Snap, pull him again! <laughs> I was thinking about it, but yeah, Bucky is, um, he's gonna be like throwing books, breaking shit if nobody's watching him. Over in the car section. <laughs> All right, Clifton, how many sanity points do you have left? Uh, 55. <sighs> cool. Add 30 points to your Cthulhu Mythos and remove 30 points from your Ooh. max and current sanity. All right. Max and current, because yeah, they are different. Uh, mm -hmm. And then 30 points to Cthulhu Mythos. Not a cult. Cthulhu. Cthulhu Mythos. Or an SCP Mythos in this world. So uh, as the other three kind of well, two of three relax and just wait while the other one is flipping tables and throwing books in frustration, not being able to find robot cars. Uh, Clifton is in a whirlwind where time seems to be operating differently. You and this wanderer are moving so fast through this book that it looks like Bucky is gesturing towards a flying book as the book leaving their hand as they're throwing it is hella slow. And you burn through this knowledge. And with every word learned, you feel yourself losing more of a grip on reality. Until once you finally do understand this language, you realize that you will never be fully sane again. As you will probably be haunted by your knowledge for the rest of your life. But you can read this book now. You also notice that your hands become a little blurry. I, that's GB, not me. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you notice your hand and you look back towards the Wanderer, they smile and go, Well, it's time for us to switch then. <gasps> Best of luck with your new library. And uh... I guess I will be leaving now. Enjoy your journey. And he he gives them a half bow. Are we Are watching they... this in like slow motion or like in there's when just they, like yeah, when they said they're gonna teach Clifton the book, yeah. you see them open the book and then smile, and then Clifton is holding the book by themselves. There is no other person over there. Clifton now has a bit of grayness to their skin and a constant blur around them, starting to obscure their facial features, making them look very much like this. Uh, Val did not wander off to like look at any books or anything. Just like, like took a like a safe distance and then just kind of watched with concern and horror. Right. As Cl okay, Cl uh, Clifton turns around with unlimited knowledge from this book. All right, uh, and I have read the book now, or I have now know. You now understand the language, it. and now okay. you can read it. All right. Oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, I don't have another thirty points to lose, but uh, yeah, I will. I'll look at Val, and say. I've obtained the knowledge. I'm going to read this now. 
Okay. The three of you realize, or anyone who is here realizes that body language and voice finally starts to match to the point that you realize that you were talking to someone who looked and moved and smiled just like Clifton. As, as Clifton moves to uh, read the book, Val will put a hand out, like, uh, on top of it, and, like, look at him earnestly and say, You've paid a great price. Revna paid a great price, too. Allow me one last roll. Extreme success, extreme success, extreme success, extreme success. <laughs> Lord up, Lord up, Lord up, Lord up. Oh. Fine. Half success. Uh, on my divination roll. Mm. Only one magic point. Uh, my question is, is the book going to hurt him? What level of success? Half success. Every single time. And they can't not read it either. Whether it be uh, through time or someone forcing them or them just choosing to, this book will be read by Clifton from front to back. Val's just going to give him like a really pained and sad look. Right. I'll uh, uh, come up uh, behind Val um, and I'll say, Clifton always lives in the now. So this is his choice and he's happy with it. Now is no forever. matter the outcome. And he's always seeking knowledge, good or bad for him. Well, you have a friend now who has ownership over an infinite library and access to all knowledge, past, present, future, and alternate dimensions. What do y'all want to know? <laughs> Bucky just like, like as storm hobbles out of one of the fuck, like <laughs> one of the, uh, one of the rows, one of the rows of, uh, of books and just says, I found the books on stuff I wanted to learn, but it's all in fucking Japanese. <laughs> It's like throws a schematic to a Gundam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's not a even a Gundam. It's Macross. Like, like you can swap between like a plane, a car, and a robot. And he's just like this place fucking sucks. Or no, it's like all Zoids. Like he doesn't want Zoids. He wants cars. Nice. <laughs> How long does uh, not Clifton uh, Bucky have left on his race? Oh no, like, that's like the end of it, and he like yeah, that was takes a couple deep breaths, and like he's done here. You don't want to be in this place anymore. And I'll uh, I'll just gesture at Bucky to to walk over. Yeah, walk over. And I'll say, um, Clifton has the answers to all our questions now. He's just waiting on this. And total serenity. <laughs> Bucky. Um, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, no, I think Bucky, he just, he's kind of soaking it in at this point. Clifton. You feel a deep sadness and disappointment towards Bucky. Oh. Because you can tell everything that's going on in this library and your friend has just damaged a lot of property. You also know that there are consequences to that. But that can come later. Okay. Alright. 
Um, I'll look over um, at Clifton and I'll say, how do we get home? Uh, Assuming that Clifton knows our, yeah, that I don't have to speak I'll, cryptively. Yeah. If I do know, I'll smile. And... First, it would depend on what is home, their original place where they first entered Ikea or a new place to be called home or a place literally called home or a dimension <laughs> called home or, and it, this can just continue. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Every facet of home, like what specific home are you looking for? Where's the place with no SCPs that we can just open an auto shop and just work on cars and stuff? Lifton reads through the book and gives you directions on doors and hallways to take to get to a specific door that leads to a shop that is about to be given away via lottery to the next person who buys a raffle ticket as soon as you step through that door. It is like Rick and Morty set up for you to replace the winner immediately through stepping through. The knowledge right. also lets Clifton know that only Maggie and Val get to go there, Ooh. should they choose. Oh no. I write down the instructions um, that Clifton just gave us. Clifton, you should probably say farewell to your friends before they exit in whichever way they exit. For although you will be forever, it is likely that they'll never find this place again, as no one really, unless they are destined to become, no one ever finds this place a second time. Nah. Okay, so that was like a total destiny thing. Um, Cl Clifton <laughs> again is 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 he's glowing with this, you know, serenity, um, <laughs> and he looks at Val, and says, "I guess our first thought, our first, our first intuition was correct. I was the wanderer." And, and he, he grins he grins widely at least not yet uh she'll like look to the like there it, it, there was there was a door indicated that we were gonna go through yeah uh she'll she'll look over to the door and then back at him we'll be safe and happy there I, I i'm a, i'm i'm nodding yes i'm looking at the keeper um yeah uh <laughs> I mean, at this point, you know all of reality, so you can tell me if they're going to be safe. Oh, like, honestly, yeah. I don't even have to answer this shit anymore. Yeah. You know. No, this no. is awesome. It's awesome. in your hand. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 You're the MC. Uh, okay. uh, uh, yes. I mean, it'll be normal lives, but you'll be free of SCPs. what you wanted yes i uh, he he kind of it, it it's that weird you know all the math in the universe flips around past his eyes <laughs> for a second and then the simple yes all right well it was good to know you bud Thanks for, in the end, trusting me. <laughs> <laughs> little, little heartfelt there. Uh. I think there's a there's a moment where Val like uh, lifts her dice as though ready to roll them, mm. um, and then she's just going to hold them out and press them into Clifton's hands. And he smiles. And, and you know it, it grips them away and then puts them somewhere um, <laughs> that that's, appears to be like close to his heart kind of thing you know 
Uh, and then, yeah, he'll turn to Bucky. And what's what's with Bucky for damaging the library? Bucky will be punished by the Great Serpent for damaging the Library of Alexandria, also known as the Wanderer's Library, depending on which universal lore you're reading. That's a whole thing. And I ha- and I have no uh, sway in that decision or whatnot. You know that those are the rules to the serpent's hand: is that no damage comes to the library, and all knowledge will be accumulated and shared with anyone who chooses to learn. Uh, they, they uh, knowledge will never be withheld, but disrespect to knowledge ends very rudely. Uh oh, uh I guess he'll he'll nod to Claire and Not to who? Claire. Cause she's still uh with us, where's right? Claire? Uh Claire's you can not make here. a spot hidden. Oh no, Claire vanished? Oh, oh dang. Oh my god, I may have made it. I may have made a spot hidden. I did. It took godlike ability, but you finally rolled barely enough. (laughs) You literally had to (laughs) to sell sell your soul soul. insanity. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, you, with all of your perfect knowledge of everything past, present, future, multidimension, and everything to do with this library, you know that she has already moved on to her next adventure. She has acquired a few books on a concept called Pattern Screamers and has chosen to just find a new door and jump. (laughs) Oh, interesting. You also feel like that is a problem. Mm. Okay. Love it. We'll, uh, you know, bookmark that. (laughs) Library joke. Um. (laughs) Did she take the books with her? Yeah, she stole them. Did she steal them? She stole from the library. Yeah. How convenient right. that two people have just wronged the library at the same time. I wonder if there's a solution there. All right. Uh, Bucky. I look sadly at Bucky. What? I... I said I was sorry about the lake. That's not the lake. It's... And he looks down at the... The, uh, uh, what'd you say, Zoids? Yeah, 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 it was a bunch <laughs> the, of Zoids the, manuals. The Zoids manuals. And, uh, if Clifton has no choice, he will say, you, uh, you must pay for your moments of... What? Abuse. It's not my doing. But, I would make you do penance and repair. Well, I, I could still but, do that, though. Like I can put, I can put them back. I, I could like dust them off and stuff. It'd take maybe like twenty minutes. That must stay, Clifton. And Clifton, Clif- Clifton does say, "I, I wish you the best, Bucky." Namaste. There's a roaring in the distance. And a heavy shadow overcasts everyone as you look up and see very far ahead in the shelves is a huge serpent. Like, I'm talking like Sandworm from the new version of Dune big. And it is swimming closer and closer. It looks like it's heading straight for Bucky. There is the smell of uric acid. This boy just pissed himself. <laughs> he's just like collapsed onto his knees and he's just looking up. Any final words, Bucky? Bucky, I think, just closes his eyes 
and says, um, I should have never gone to Ikea. And with that, <laughs> the snake swallows up and just continues to move as if it, as if it has other things to do. Bucky is killed instantly. Val and Maggie make sanity checks. Clifton, you already knew this was to be. Oh my god. Well, I got my wish. Of the I'm happy. I'm <laughs> the lake didn't kill you. I failed. I got a success. All right. Maggie, you're going to take just four points of sanity damage as you did see a friend die, but you don't understand the implications as Val already can feel memories of Bucky leaving as they realize that that thing has eaten every trace of Bucky and they are leaving reality. Uh, you will take 2d6 sanity damage. You want me to roll that? Uh, you'll take 9 sanity damage. Okay. I'm fine. That's half of what it would take to give me a breakdown of any sort. Um, Good. <laughs> I, I, Val watches that happen, um, and like she'll she'll just sort of like reach over to like Maggie and like she's very very thin, very frail, so like it's it's hard for her to do. But like she takes a couple of like attempts to like push Maggie to like turn away, um, and she says to herself in Drengart. Uh, a mercy. This is a mercy. And after a few short seconds, Maggie, you don't even remember why you were so terrified. Val, there is a lingering trace that you have lost something or someone, but you don't remember at all who or any experiences you've ever had with them. I look over at, um, at Val. And I'm like, well, that sucks for Claire, I guess. I'm sure somebody else's problem now. Um, let's go grab this raffle ticket. Let's start a new life, just like we wanted. Um, I'll look over at Clifton and I'll say, Namaste. Stay and good luck. Enjoy the new lives. You too, bud. And there's a and shimmery tear for Bucky. <laughs> As you will be the only one who remembers. I know. Oh, infallible oh, recall. Oh, infallible oh, recall. recall. Exactly. Not like this. <laughs> All right. Uh, so before stepping through the door, is there any last words or actions or thoughts that come through people's heads? Bust out of the snake. I got a cool eye patch and some sick scars. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's fucking go! I got a robot arm. And drives out in the new car. I just, uh... He's on the back of a Zoid! <laughs> yup. Yeah. Oh there was my a god. car inside the snake. <laughs> but for, for those who are living, at least, uh... <laughs> that's their death um... hallucination. Mm. Oh, buddy. I'm just like... Oh. Hope there's a 1994 Ford on that side. It'd be cool to work on that first. I think Val just gives one last look to Clifton and then follows Maggie through the door. And so, as Clifton bids goodbye to their friends, <clears throat> who they will likely never see again, they step through a door leading to a universe set up for them with no SCPs until they pass through the door <laughs> with four of them. That is the end of this story. Oh no, I drop uh, nothing is coming you with me. I'm starting nothing you. Nothing that. is coming with me. Are you there kidding me? Hard drive, there is a knife, there is a gun, there's the fourth thing I can't remember. <laughs> and Val may and have, may have come with that. Ends. Throw that shit. It instantly disintegrates <laughs> out of me. You know what? Claire steals them. I don't want them. This shit's cursed. Get you gave him the Bucky. 
Like, right as the snake's coming down, you're just like, here you go! <laughs> here's like, snake, here's something for you to eat and me to forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. The party got to the library. You learned everything you needed to or wanted to. I mean, we can add this... knowledge learned in the after court stuff, but yeah, yeah that's the yeah, story. Yeah. Did it. Did. Congrats! Yay! Yay! Yeah. We all got what we wanted in the no end. Way. Media, thank you so much for running yeah. this game. Oh, this was incredible. Was <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. This has been absolutely fantastic. I loved, 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 loved having this SCP game on the channel. I had such a blast playing, dying, trying to kill my party members by no fault of my own. Uh, but I always have a blast whenever you're on the channel. Media, where can we find you? What do you do? That is an excellent question. Hello, everyone. I am Media Flare. I am a voice actor and streamer. You can find me on Twitter or Twitch at Media Flare. You can also find me here now only one day a week for now, question mark. Otherwise, I am going to try and force my ADD self to restart streams on my own channel. So look forward to some of that, as well as an upcoming Friday show to be announced eventually. DanaeKeener.com PB? Hi! I'm PB, but did not realize she was next. Um, today <laughs> you can find me over on twitch.tv uh, slash inside, where I play uh, various games, but for the most part Destiny 2 is my main game. In fact, next week, uh, starting Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, for the foreseeable future, my friend and I are going to be doing some Destiny 2 uh, endgame challenges together. In fact, me and my friend Nillyline will be doing those together, who you can find me on her Twitch channel on Wednesdays uh, early before we start Destiny stuff, doing our Nilly and PB podcast where we uh, read books and we talk about them a couple of chapters at a time. And right now we are reading Twilight because she has never read it and I want to send her memes about it. So, uh, we are, we have just finished all the exposition stuff in Twilight, and we're about to start getting into the actual plot of the first book, uh, which is fun. And so I'm excited, uh, to talk about that on that podcast. Also on Saturdays, you can find me over on Practical Earth Hemisphoria's channel on Twitch, where we are doing a high level D&D political intrigue game where things are getting a little spicy because we're starting to like decide where we want to go we have so much information that's just been thrown at us about world ending events wars uh possible bad guys coming back to take over the world you know it'll have a, lot, a whole lot of stuff that may or may not be connected to each other uh it's what we're trying to find out so if that's of any interested interest of you make sure to go visit twitch.tv slash practical at themisphoria's channel at 7 p.m central standard time and if you've made it this far, you probably already know who I am. But if you don't, hey, Acorns, what's up? It's me, your buddy, your pal, your friend, the indoor adventurer, the showrunner here at twitch.tv slash indoor adventures. We do shows like this on Monday, Thursday, and Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or at least for now, just Mondays and Sundays. So if you want to come check us out, easiest way to do so, go to youtube.com slash indoor adventures, check up on all of the VODs of each of the games that we've played up until this point, or you can go towards where anywhere audio casts are being made available for free. Stay tuned. There will be some scheduling changes. There's going to be new games on the horizon, but we're going to keep y'all informed. So just be sure to stop on by to nakinger.com. Wow. It's not me. It's GB. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Graybeard and Graybeard Stafford. And as of today, I think I am only Sunday, Sunday, Sundays, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by. We play with our toys, you know, and uh, have a good time. And um, we're playing Wilder Myth right now. We are, we still got two stories to go. We're finishing one and one more. So, I mean, uh, we're on episode 57 currently so you know uh there's backlog to watch and uh that's where you can catch me but if you'd like i love to do charity events i love to do one shots or short shots reach out to me graybeard's tavern 
Gray Beard Tavern uh, on all the socials and everything. And that's it for me, GB. Hey, everybody. I'm Wins, also known as Danae Keener. You can find me at DanaeKeener.com. I do nerdy drawings, most related to D&D and a lot of things on this channel. You can also find me at Danae Keener on Twitter. I've got a pinned tweet there with a schedule uh, that is going to be changing. Uh, so you can go and uh, have a look at that and see all the games that I'm involved in uh, right now and go and uh, check them out. One of them being uh, Monday, we're taking a short brief very quick break from four keeps to have a talk like a pirate day aside uh half of which has already been resolved on the very day that i have already stated um no. this one shot has become a two shot as they often do and things are just now getting spicy uh come on monday and find out who dusted lefty denakeener.com and that is it for our show. So I would like to again, once again, say media, start to finish. This has been an excellent campaign. Thank you so much for running this for us. This was my first foray into Call of Cthulhu, and you set a high fucking bar. So congratulations to you. Thank you to these players for putting up with our bullshit week after week after week after SCP number after SCP number. I had a fantastic time. And of course, thank you to all of you who decided to come on out because we couldn't do shows like this without contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. And we'll see all of you guys next time. All right, everybody. Bye-bye! I have to hit the brakes buttons. It's the only way it goes now. <laughs>